This is how I got started. You know, our I, my own company now called a cheap group. Yes. So I only working, helping my father, you know, restaurant business. But during the time, I grabbed this opportunity, and then I started mixed up with my own business. When I seen this uh, business, it's a big potential. So I am, um, um, uh, you know, set my heart in it, and then my business started in the beginning of 1980. Well, I started with 500 pound cash. Now, our group turnover is more than 50 million. Together, we have, uh, you know, um, uh, in our group, apart from the import-export business, we have the uh, wholesale distribution, we have the supermarket, we have the entertainment business like, you know, Color OK, we have the restaurant, we are quite about, you know, a restaurant around Northwest. Very important, uh, you have to uh, to recruit or you know you have a very good team good staff they know what you want and uh, you know you have to build your capability your credibility your trustworthy yeah so you have to uh, you know team to drive them you know to do the motivation I don't really count in the hour I don't count in that you know for start and finish if I want you start something I want to finish it sometimes maybe because now my position is quite fairly fixable. Uh, sometimes I could work, you know, start at about 9 o'clock to about 9 o'clock at night. Sometimes I might just, you know, take the afternoon off and then do something, you know, different. But in average, I would say that about 50 hours, we're able to uh, work as a team, you see. I don't want to be a boss, I want to be a leader. The difference between the boss and leader the boss say, you go, I'm leader, let's go. But I still, you know, learning, you learn every day. But uh, I find it now, so far, it give me a satisfaction that which I able to do what I want for my business. I think the worst thing about my job is my wife complained me going back home too late. <laughs> That's the only thing that, you know, uh, they said, you support a bit, <laughs> coming by eight, and then you promise to come in home for tea, and then, uh, oh, and then you give me a ring and then you say you're not able to. This is the worst thing that, you know, it affect, it affect, <laughs> it affect my uh, family life sometimes. Yes. That's the only thing. I'm the chairman of the uh, FCM, Federation of Chinese Association Manchester. I, now, last year, I also become the co-federation of the UK organization. Yeah. Just a similar, like a FCAM, but in a bigger scale. The co-federation of China Association is one of the biggest, you know, the organization in the UK. Now we have about more than 50 organizations and then we have all our members around the whole UK. Heritage is one of the important things, you know. <laughs> it's a very important thing. What can I do? Or what can I able to do to help another? Our, you know, Chinese fellow? Or what can I able to, you know, not only for myself, trying to make this a uh, solidarity together to make our people more understand we have to be united together. We have to do more to show what our strength is.